Donald, you toyed! Hi everybody, today on CSW Toys we are going to be taking a closer look at Forky from Toy Story 4. I don't know about you, but in our household we've watched the to Toy Story 4 trailers oh, I don't know how many times, but one of William's favourite characters is Forky. And one of the things he would very much like to do is make his own Forky. And we thought, if Bonnie can do it, why can't we? So we've been digging around in our craft box and I think with some basic supplies we can make our very own Forky. So we've got, well, scissors and glue and tape, some googly eyes, some pipe cleaners, plasticine, um, a lollipop stick, some foamy stickers and of course some sporks. The only ones we've been able to find so far are a little bit smaller than Forky but that'll do. We've got our colouring pens and some extra stickers as well. So let's begin and see if we can make our very own Forky. Okay let's get started. So first things first I need to choose a colour of my spork. Hmm, I think I might go for something a bit different. Maybe I'll use the black one. So turn it over and on the back we're gonna need to stick on our face. So as you'll see Forky has two different size of googly eyes so I need one big one and one smaller one and get my glue stick so here goes one eye with a glue stick you can still sort of move them about a little bit once you stick them on a slightly smaller eye. And there we go. Woohoo, already on. Right. Next, uh, let's have a look. What about his mouth? Now, we had these foam stickers left over from Easter, like a little Easter baskets, and they make perfect ones. I think you could probably still use plasticine or maybe a bit of pipe cleaner and stick it on but I think these are going to be ideal because they're sort of already in the shape of his mouth if we have a look. Woo. He does smile sometimes. Oh, not this again. <laughs> uh, what are we doing here? <laughs> now, sometimes he's a bit frowny and sometimes he smiles a bit. I think we'll make this one a smiley one. But the handy thing with these little basket stickers is that they've already got a bit of a shape to them. I just need to curve it a bit round at the edges so it's not so straight. And I reckon mm, that'll be about right. Not too much of a smile or a frown because he doesn't tend to do either too much. So let's get his, let's give him a smile this time. There we go. Now on a white spork you could certainly just colour in his cheeks but I again have some little stickers, foam stickers that I think will do the job here if we want to add a little bit of colour to his cheeks. So here we go. Spork seems to have slightly bigger fork bits than Forky, so I think his eyebrows are going to have to go on the fork bits. So, again, I'm going to use another one of these Easter baskets to make his eyebrows, which do move sometimes. Uh, I'm a spork. I was made for soup, salad, maybe chili, and then the trash. Yeah. Maybe can go quite straight or down. 
So, maybe we'll have one that bends down a little bit. Again, you can you probably use all sorts of different things for this. But I found, because these have already got glue on the back, they're going to be a good one to use. Easy to cut out. Let's see if we can get this on. Shall we have him? It's quite straight this one, so and he's smiley, so let's get them here. You can just about hide the fork prongs. And there we go, there's his face. Mm, with his googly eyes, they're not moving too much at the moment but there we go so next I think we'll need to have a quick look at how we make his base so I did have a different option as well for his blushing cheeks which were these other just very pink dots but I think on a forky that size they'd be perfect but on our little tiny forky, they're going to be a bit too big. So we can move those out the way, because we're done with those. We can move our googly eyes and the rest of our forks. Our stickers now, I don't need those anymore. So the next thing I'm going to need is hmm, some plasticine. We'll stick with the original colour scheme here and go with white or oh, sort of creamy coloured. Again, usually in a pack of plasticine you get lots of different colours so you can go a bit wild and do whatever you like. Get this squished up a bit. And then just pop him in. There we go. He's in. <laughs> Look how small he is compared to true Forky. Then, with a the lolly stick for the legs and, well, feet, all it can do, I suppose, is oh, snap it in half. Might need to get my scissors on this, though, just to make sure it's not got any sharp spikes. These are actually some craft sticks that we bought rather than ones that we've eaten the ice lollies off, but... There we go, and here we have it. Stick them to the bottom. And Forky has legs. Now this Forky has a rainbow sticker, so we can, just using some pens, always draw one on. blue. I've already got the green on there. I'm not really sure if yellow will show up but we can give it a go. Not particularly but add that in. Maybe a bit of done with and like I said if you've got a white spork to use you can certainly do the cheeks with one of those now for the arms um, maybe let's go let's go white so we have some very some quite long pipe cleaners so there that should be long enough for a spork this size maybe if you use one that's a bit bigger you could use two and that would make the arms a bit longer. Um, I think to get it to stick on I'm going to use a little bit of sellotape and just wrap it around so it sticks to itself. If you've actually got double sided tape that would probably be much better but this should do. Just wrap it around just to give the pipe cleaner something to stick onto otherwise it's going to be slipping down and then let's just 
wrap this around like that. Maybe give it a quick swizzle at the front and there we go. So just like Orky and it seems to have three fingers so let's give this a bash. So I'm just pinching them and folding them. And then another pinch and hopefully I've left enough or maybe not. And maybe just for that last finger. Oh that one's gone a bit too small. Hang on let's start again. The wonderful thing about these pipe cleaners is you can always bend them back out and start again. around. There we go. Let's hand on that. Like that. There we go. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. And again on this side, just bending them into place. And just a quick wrap around. All three. And there we have. His arms are a little bit short, I think, but I don't think that's too bad. There is our very own. Sporky, not sporky, sporky made from a spork. So we've got a craft stick or lollipop stick, and we've got some plasticine, a spork, pipe cleaner with a little bit of cellar tape, some foam stickers, but you know, be adventurous, use what you like for his for his face, and of course the key ingredient, googly eyes. And Oh, I don't know. I don't think he's too bad. Actually, <laughs> and what does? Let's see what Forky thinks. Oh, he doesn't sound too impressed, does he? Now, I have had a go at a couple of other ones. So we have also got another Forky friend here who is made with a pink spork and then before I actually found sporks I did make a spoonie <laughs> so spoonie was my first attempt and I think he's not too shoddy even if I do say so myself so we have here quite the selection of Forky and Spoonies joined by their friend Forky. Here we have my family of Forkies. I think, well, Mr. Forky, Mrs. Spoony, and a couple of little Forkies. Okay. Well, please have a comment below and let us know how you get on making your own forkies. If you have any hints or tips about different materials we could use, that would be brilliant. Um, if you have liked this video and you want to see some more like it, please subscribe to our channel. But like I said, have a go, make your own. And if you've got some better ideas, please share them with us. Thanks for watching.